we have a company down here in Kendall Square where they have all the biotech companies. They paid two, $2.4 billion to buy a company that takes a chunk of your tissue and does a genomic screen on it. So I had the opportunity a couple of years ago to meet with a young lady who works at the company, okay? And they have two forms. You want the full, we'll look at a thousand different genes or we can do a, a short number of genes, it's a couple of hundred. And those genes are supposed to tell us what kind of targeting we're gonna to use to, uh, to treat the cancer. And you hear all these cancer patients say, oh, I have an ALK mutation or EGFR mutation. My cancer has this mutations. Let me just say something, they're irrelevant. They're all downstream effects, uh, P53 included. Uh, they're all downstream epiphenomena from the damage from the reactive oxygen species coming out of the tumor cell. So that they're charging $7,000 for the insurance companies to give a patient a readout on what kind of mutations their tumors might have. If the mutations are effects and not cause, then that you're paying $7,000. You might as well flush your money down the toilet, but the, the information is irrelevant. Every one of those cells is fermenting. Uh, it doesn't make any difference what kind of mutation they have. They could have a hundred different kinds, thousands of mutations, they're all fermenting. So what, what relevance does it have? Because they're gonna take that information and use an immunotherapy, which is based on an incorrect theory. I mean, none of this makes any sense because it's built, the, the cancer industry is built around an incorrect theory. And that's why we have 70 people an hour dying, 1,700 people a day because the theories they're using are, are incorrect and they've led the population to think this is all important. It's not important. The mutations are largely irrelevant to the nature of the problem. 